what's going on people man it's day two of firefly and everything um it, i woke up well i did i stayed tonight my for some reason my my sleeping bag it was wet pause it was wet like my whole butt and everything was just wet I think I went to sleep like one, but then it was like, woke up 5.45, went to my car to charge up my stuff and everything. Well, I did have my, I already had a charge, but I wanted to be in a uh, warm weather. Now, I took a shower, so fresh and so clean, clean. The shower's clean, though, low key. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. We about to get on day two. I'm about to do some interviews and everything. See if you want to do interviews. Most likely they probably will want to do interviews. And that's it, man. That's it. So be on the lookout. Yeah. Firefly day two. We just going to check out all these other little things. I got an interview at 110 with uh, Dago. So we'll be over there later. And then. After that, we just want to see what's bracking. So, um, yeah, shout out to Firefly for giving DETV media passes and everything for the event. What's going on, people? We're here with Sloan, Femi of Dayglow. So, my cameraman, Johnny and Brandon, not here right now. Where you at? So, we're going to do a little makeshift little interview. So, get this thing right here. I'm so excited. Yeah, okay. this is uh, my first time at this festival. Okay. It's beautiful. It's nice. Colder than I thought. So, in this interview with Dayglo, we talked about his influences growing up in Texas, his upcoming album that's about to drop in October. Check it out. And at the end, he did a little DTV call out. But stay tuned for the full interview in the next coming video. Hey, I'm Sloan, aka Dayglo, and you're watching DETV. Look, I don't know about y'all, but gotta kick it up with a hood classic growing up, boy. You feel me? Season money, season money. All right, so then now we got to go Teddy Beach. Uh, we talked about his different sets that he had throughout Firefly and his influences in DJing and in hip hop. It's Teddy Beats, and you're watching DE TV. I'm Ashley Tisdale, and you're watching Disney Channel. Look, man, I don't know about y'all, but Ashley Tiz, though, that was better at lay back in the day, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. So then, we, last but not least, we ended it with Spill Tap. Spill Tap, great person, amazing artist. So we talked about her first time performing at a festival ever. We talked about her upcoming tour that she's going on, not even upcoming, she's on it right now. And then at the end, we chopped it up. Hopefully, we get a collab soon. Our personalities felt like it just meshed. All of the full length interviews will be on the channel What's up? shortly. This is Stay tuned. And you're watching DE TV. Hi, I'm Kyla Look, all I gotta say is if you know, you know. That's it. I ain't gotta explain nothing. If you know, you know. Meantime, between time. Alright, so in the meantime, between time, you feel me? I went around different stages and stuff, just walked around. Seen Ivy Soul. Ivy Soul, dope, amazing artist, up and coming artist. I don't know about y'all, but I like going to go see the up and coming artist on the lower card, not the headliners, because everybody know them and stuff. But we got Mod Son. That's Avril Lavigne, boyfriend, fiance, however you want to call it. He was dope. He did good. The crowd, you feel me? Look at him. They all jumping, getting hype, getting sturdy, getting turned, all that. But in Colchis, that man different. When I say that man different, that man different. He had the energy. It was up on one energy. It was like Playboy Cardi, 0.5. That, that's the way I can describe Playboy Cardi, 0.5. But coaches, man, he fired. though. I give him that. That man fired. He had the crowd on lock. Had the crowd control and all that, man. With Lady in the City, I had to take a step back. Like, yo, let me just enjoy this concert. Let me enjoy it. The crowd, they, they was getting sturdy a little bit. They had a little mosh pit and stuff. My man's right here, though. Man, him, we was both rapping to the world. Because we know him. Coach Cheesy Fire, though. Man, it was getting sturdy and all that, though, man. It was a nice concert. Nice concert. So, look. This right here, this is Brandon footage. I never in my life seen Brandon take something like this ever. Brandon, I never seen Brandon in my life do something like this. Yeah, look at the pictures he took, too. Look at the pictures. That's Corday. I ain't never seen Brandon take no high level picture like that never in my life. Brandon, look, look at that picture too. Then, then he got a crowd shot too of of that ever the week. I can't even talk right. And then look at this shot too, man. Hold on, hold this coming up right here. I ain't never seen Brandon do this ever, man. 
Bro, it's freaking, it's 128. So look, people, so look. I, I, I went home, whatever, Brandon. Hopefully Brandon got some footage. Oh, he did, I don't know. So now I'm trying to figure out how the freak to get back to Firefly to the overnight parking thing, because I left. I went home and everything, get some stuff and to sleep in my bed. Hopefully Brandon got some stuff, but now I'm back. I should be recording while driving, but I can drive with one hand and hold the camera all at the same time while I'm doing this. You feel me? I've been driving. I've been driving that. Yeah, yeah, man. I've been driving that. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. You feel me, though, man? You ain't first. You're last. You know? You know what I'm talking about? Man, doing it. So hopefully I can get the freaking firefly, man. Do I found my freaking way? We straight now. Hold on, turn that, turn that, turn that, that's that code, that's that code, that man. We found, we found our way though, man. So we straight, so we straight. We found our way. Now we Gucci. Now hopefully we can see if we can find a parking spot that we had from the jump. If I can somehow find the parking spot that I found from the jump, that'd be love. Okay, so on this segment right here in the video, I did a little questionnaire for all of the Green Day fans that was out there because Green Day was the headliner. Had questions like, who plays the drums for Green Day? Can you fill in the blank? Finish the song title, Basket Blank, uh, Boulevard of Blank. A lot of people knew their stuff, some people didn't. Uh, it was this young lady, she was like 14, the youngest one I've seen there, had a whole Green Day fit her right here. She knew her stuff, for real, for real. But then it took a little turn for the worse uh, with somebody. So this right here is Alicia. We knew each other since we went to college together at the University of Delaware. She said she knew Green Day. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, so we have... Alicia. Alicia. Huh? Okay, so Alicia. 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 Who plays the drums for Green Day? What? Charles. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> then people, it got worse. Yeah. Also, Charles. <laughs> uh, I apparently I'm a fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> so after the foolishness with Felicia, I walked around. Then I came across Jordana. She's fire, fire, makes fire music. Uh, she's from Maryland, I believe. So she had her mom there and she had her science teacher there that she had in high school. But it was a good crowd. So they got the Nook. The Nook, I walked the past it about three, four times. They had hip hop bangers playing. Bangers. I'm like, why is nobody in here? It, it, it was, to me, it was Liddy in the city. I was getting sturdy by my dag on, so. Went to the Princess Nokia concert. Princess Nokia, I seen her about three, four times, so she did not disappoint. Princess Nokia, gonna be Princess Nokia. Then to end it off, went to go see Green Day. Green Day was fire, and that's it. And just like that, people, we gone.